Okay, so this is a quick overview on some of the tools and the materials you're going to need to make the Ergo mouse uh, during this tutorial. So I'm kind of assuming as this is a reasonably advanced tutorial that things like a metal ruler and a scalpel and say like a pair of pliers you'll have all that st stuff lying around. So this is really to introduce the, the new materials and stuff that are essential. So um, obviously we're going to be working with styrofoam and ABS plastic and as we begin to form those shapes um, it's quite useful to have a rasp which is a, a coarse file and then a sort of uh, a fine grade file and indeed smaller ones as well. Now one of the nice things you can do is take these uh, tongue depressors or lollipop sticks and cover them in sandpaper and that makes it really good for finishing later on. One of the other things uh, I've got is uh, a zona saw which is a very very fine cutting saw um, but you can actually just use an old hacksaw blade as long as you bind one of the ends in something protective like tape or, or glue a handle onto it. So there's lots of ways you can do this quite cheaply and effectively. Um, obviously we've got all the soldering gear for taking apart the circuit board of the wireless mouse, um, but a few little tips are a square edged scalpel blade is very useful for removing the, the lacquer off the top of the circuit board and uh, also using a flux pen to help the solder flow into it. Um, a solder pump is also incredibly cheap and can save a lot of stress when trying to remove things like switches from the printed circuit board, as are a good quality set of uh, wire cutters or angle clippers like this. So these are useful for sort of cutting away uh, legs of components, but also I find it quite useful for chopping uh, things like ABS plastic very, very roughly when you're making holes in things, for example. Obviously onto the, the health and safety side, given that you're working with water-based uh, fillers, this is called uh, polyfiller, but I think in the States it's spackle, and uh, this is a car body filler, and again, especially with the latter one, uh, it gives off really, really unpleasant fumes, and this is like an all-purpose filter mask, which does the VOCs, which are the fumes, and also the fine particulates which come from both of these when you're sanding them down. So I'd highly recommend, uh, if you can, use this and preferably work somewhere that's well ventilated or outdoors if the weather's good. And uh, goggles as well, if you are using things like super glue and uh, also you'll just find your eyes will get really itchy if you're getting a lot of this dust in your face. Um, again, a few pairs of goggles are going to be essential, otherwise your hands will stink of car body filler by the end of it. And also, perhaps when working with Sugru as well, it might be useful for smoothing things down. So, I hope that's just a general overview. We'll obviously go through it in more detail uh, throughout the tutorial, but these are the basic things you'll need.